the Barbecue Superstar Shopping Network. And today, we're going to be doing competition drumsticks. All right, folks, we got our Royal Oak cranking up. Royal Oak Lump Charcoal, the best charcoal in the world. Royal Oak. Nothing likes like Royal Oak. That's a regular piece of wood right there burning. Whoa! <laughs> it's not very smart to grab all of a 1200 degree piece of charcoal. That might be kind of stupid. Nothing cooks better than an Iron Man. And cookers. All right, before we get started this morning, I want to mention that kick ass habanero and kick ass. Sriracha hot sauce is really some good uh, popcorn. Get some in barbecue super jar. And Sucker Busters. We've got the full line. Fast shipping. Uh, go to BSN, get yourself some Sucker Busters. We've got about 10 flavors. Okay, what I'm going to do this morning is I'm going to do some competition chicken legs. Chicken legs have gotten more and more famous out on the circuit. I'm uh, we'll gonna try to give you some info on what they're doing out there. Chicken legs is more about brining than it is about injecting. Uh, now you can put injection in the chicken legs and pretty much the skin will hold it uh, in the chicken leg. You can get some in the meat, but I think a lot of competitors are just brining their chicken legs. Always wear gloves whenever you're cooking barbecue and you're handling meat. Okay, what we're going to start off with is our brine. And what we got here is a quarter cup of Butcher Barbecue bur Bird Booster. Now, this is the brisket because I messed the bag up on the bird booster when I, and it was my fault. Uh, the bags are really tough. I, don't, I can't see how I messed it up as bad as I did, but uh, this here is a quarter cup of Butcher Bird Booster. You can buy it on BSN. I'll put that in the water. Then we're going to put some Butcher Premium Rub in the brine. And then we're going to put some American-style barbecue chicken rub, and the only place you can buy this, as far as I know, is on Barbecue Superstars, Barbecue Superstars Shopping Network. So, www.barbecuesuperstore.org, the original Barbecue Superstore. Now, last night I put some hot sauce in this too. 
So you can do what you want to with it. Okay, so I got three chicken legs here. Now, you can use scissors to do this. There might be some people out there that are scraping the skin somehow. But to be honest with you, I wouldn't. The biggest thing you're looking for is that that skin just goes to the top. It doesn't matter if it goes all the way to the top, but it just gets to it, gets to that top edge. perfect look for feathers you don't want any feathers on it now the end on that's busted so you could put that in the turning box <clears throat> the skin's perfect on it though it's holding the skin so I'm not going to take it off because it'll make the skin fall down okay so we're gonna get these three pieces of chicken we're gonna put them in this bag right here and then we're gonna dump our brine in on it you want to put enough in there to cover it one thing about a plastic bag is you can't get away from it So you let it sit in the refrigerator for 12 hours and let it brine. Now I've got a bunch of chicken that I already let brine for 12 hours. put it in a bowl because the one bag decided it wanted to leak. This one here has been double bagged. Now you can inject it if you want to make sure that it's completely full of taste and flavor. I would just suggest getting some of the brine out and injecting it with the brine. Key to this thing is this rack. We're gonna start hanging our brine chicken on the rack. Hot sauce may make a difference. Well, I guess I need to put rub on them. <laughs> I'm tired this morning. Uh, Let's get some of this American style chicken rub. This stuff here is really good. You need to also pull the skin back and get as much rub on the actual chicken as you can. You gotta rub both sides of it. Get some rub on the knuckle too because it'll change the color of it.
This here's got a little piece of meat on it. We're going to take it off. Take that piece of skin off. Just a little piece right there. That's got a little round piece on the end. We don't want that. Well, I'm going to let it cook, see how it cooks down, and then we'll get a pair of scissors and cut that off after it gets cooked. That's a nice drumstick right there. I can hear them chickens running around there. How about you? Yeah, that's the funny thing about chicken is uh, each piece of chicken is like its own journey and you never know what you're going to get. Try not to try not to put a whole lot of pressure on the different pieces of chicken and force the brine out of it. Some pretty good looking pieces coming up. Okay, we got five of them going so far. Number six. Seven. And this in here is big. It's got a big hunk of fat around the top edge. We can't use that. Let's go ahead and take that fat off of there. It's not definitely not gonna work out. Get this off right here. Personally, if I was you, I wouldn't pull that skin back and worry about trying to get rub up under this back part because they're not going to eat off of there anyway. They're going to eat off this front part. They're just going to take a bite right out of the top of it. Okay, there's number seven. Even with your family. I mean, they're going to eat the, the fat top part first. That's where all the meat's at. Yeah, 
And our Royal Loke over there is running strong. Three more to go to get a rack full. See, our rack is getting pretty full. It looks like uh, beef, beef has hanging there. That rack is the whole key to the whole thing. fat there. Hurt your presentation a little bit. Definitely won't get bite through. Is cranking up good. Okay, now what we're going to do is bring a rack over here. I'm going to get a little rub and just go down the knuckles. Get that color. And let it run down the uh, chicken.
looking good, smelling good. That rag is really doing its job. Okay, we'll come back in about 20 more minutes. Okay, I think they're pretty well done. All we're gonna do, take them out, we're gonna put them in the can, bro. Now, I finished cooking in there. Gonna try to get you close enough that you can hear what this thing does when you open it. Now listen. No, I didn't do it. Okay. No, they're done. Alright, these chicken... Chicken legs got good and done in here. Excellent. Excellent job. Okay, we're gonna finish this deal up now. With these drumsticks. And what we got here is pepper jelly. Texas pepper jelly is the best one. It's the best. Uh, and we've got this sweet spirit mild barbecue sauce. Now that sweet spirit is really really good. And of course we've got our chicken. Okay, I got a demonstration tray over here. And I've got some gloves. So, now you can't do this twice. Double bump. I think for now, we're just gonna do it once. Now what you can do is dunk these chicken thighs dunk these chicken thighs put them back on the smoker for just a little bit okay we're gonna get our mild sweet spirit barbecue sauce and I've let it heat up out here in the sun the sun's radiated I'll put a little bit you gotta leave a little room for the uh, piece of chicken so it's mostly Texas pepper jelly well Braswell Braswell is the brand I carry so here's the whole deal whoa need a bigger jar Take it all the way down in there. Let it drain. Well, let it sit in there for a minute.
can't get too much on it. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the box like I'm going to turn it in because I really don't want a whole lot of it to get off of it. I want as much as I can to stay on it because we're going to eat them here in a few minutes. But Braswell pepper jelly and sweet spirit mild. It's really good. That sweet spirit tripped me out when I tried it. Boy, this is going to be good. What you think? What you got on my drink? What you think about that? Well, there's six for turn in. That Cambro, that Cambro just did the deal on them. All right, I'm gonna eat this one. Bite through skin. Fantastic flavor. Clean bone. Why stop at one when you can eat two? Oh man, I got a combination here. So I used uh, Butcher Premium in that American style chicken rub. That was a bigger piece in the than the first one. Oh damn, I got a package. 
Well, <clears throat> there ain't but one thing left to do. Fill it up. That's a big old ghost. It's crazy. Okay, we'll be back next time. Thanks for watching.